So we're going to build an atom here. Building the atom here, this is a FET simulation. Um, what this will help us, hopefully what this will help us see is as we change the number of protons and electrons relative to one another, how we're changing the charge or not changing the charge on an element. Let's go to uh, an element like lithium, okay? So lithium, it's really small here. If you go on your periodic table at home, you're gonna see it's got three protons in it. So one, two, three. We got lithium now. Up here in the top right, we've got this nice little count of how many protons, neutrons, and electrons do we have. We also have this net charge calculator down here. Okay. So right now, if we only have three protons, we have no electrons. We have three, a plus three charge. To get rid of that lithium in nature is highly reactive, but the metal form of lithium um, is neutral. In order for it to be neutral, you have to have one, two, three electrons in there. And if we have that, we now have a net charge of zero. We, if you're gonna have an element, you have to have a, neut a neutral charge. If you're gonna have an element, you're gonna have to have a neutral charge. Now, I forget exactly how many there. We're going to just put the neutrons in there because. Now, <clears throat> excuse me. If, though, we want to go to an ion form. So lithium's here on our periodic table. It's the pink one. It's kind of hard to see, right? Everything want, all of our elements desire to get to what's called a noble gas configuration. So that means they want to have the same number of electrons as the closest noble gas to them. So in the case of lithium, lithium has neon, which is all the way over here. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven elements away. If you go to neon, you're going to see the neon's got a total of 10 electrons in it. And the way we can know that is we can count up. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Total electrons in it and ten protons for, for neon. So lithium can gain a bunch of electrons. Or if it goes the other way, instead of gaining, if it loses one, it gets the same configuration as helium. And helium's a noble gas. So if we take away one electron, now our helium and our lithium have the same number of electrons in them. So lithium has achieved the noble gas configuration. In order to get to that noble gas configuration, though, down here when we look at the net charge, it's got still the one, two, three protons because it has to have three protons for it to still be lithium. But it's only got two negative charges. So two of the negatives cancel out two of the positives, but we still have an overall positive charge left over. So lithium ends up being lithium, lithium ion ends up being plus one. We can do that same procedure that we just discussed for sodium, potassium, and all of these other elements all the way down, rubidium, cesium, francinium, because it's easier for them to lose one electron than it is to gain a whole bunch of other electrons. Well, so let's let's go. The, let's let's say if we if you lose one and you're lithium, all you're doing is kind of think about this as like shoots and ladders. Did you ever play that game? 
Think about this as reverse shoots and ladders. So instead of building up from the bottom up to the top, here you're going from the over here, and then you're going over, and then whoop, starting over here, and then you go across, and then whoop, starting over here, and then you go across. Losing an electron just means you come back one space in terms of charge. Now let's go for, let's go to something like oxygen. Oxygen has, so in, in order to do oxygen, we got to add in a bunch of more protons here. Okay. And now we're going to make this neutral by adding in enough electrons until it becomes neutral. But notice, like, as we're adding, we're having to add in these electrons right now, before it's a neutral thing, we've got this positive two charge. And I'm having to add in the electrons, and every time I add in an electron, it's causing that net charge to decrease. It's getting closer to zero. And now, just for the sake of completeness, even though the neutrons are neutral and they don't affect the charge, I'm just going to put them in there to balance out the protons because of stuff that we're not going to talk about right now. Right here is our oxygen atom that is neutral. Oxygen's the pink thing here on the periodic table, and it's based off of the number of protons. Which noble gas is closest to oxygen? Neon or helium? If we think about going through the spaces. So helium's this one here on the top, and neon's this one here on the bottom. And you can use a periodic, periodic, periodic table periodic table that you got at home too it'll be a lot easier than trying to read it off the screen it, it's going to be this neon that's really too hard to read the neon is one two spaces away versus the helium which is one two three four five six spaces away So neon, like we were talking about earlier, has 10 electrons in its neutral atom form. Right now, if we count up the number of electrons we've got on our oxygen, it's only 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Well, so if we, if we change the number of protons at this point, we're going to change our atom. Like if we go boom, boom, now we're neon. But we didn't want to change the, um, we didn't want to change the element. So we're going to go back to uh, the element of oxygen. In order for it to get the same electron configuration, though, we're going to add one electron, two electrons. Because, and just for the sake of argument here, one, two, this is the neon, and it's neutral. One, two, this is oxygen, but I didn't change the number of electrons. So, like, this is our neon, it's neutral, but oxygen doesn't have those two protons, but it does want this number of electrons. So, if we just take two of the protons away, Boom, we've still we got our oxygen back. We didn't change the electrons, but we have a negatively charged ion. If we look at our net charge over here, we've got some of our oxygen protons canceling out some of our electrons, but we've got these two extra electrons that are not getting canceled out. So the oxygen ends up with a negative two charge. <laughs> 